Hello students, this is your Madhubabu sir. From this video, I am going to explain the graph of class 8, exercise 7.3, fourth problem from AP and Telangana state boards. The question is, fourth one, Ages of 60 teachers in primary schools of Mandal are given in the following frequency distribution table. Construct the frequency polygon and frequency curve for the data without using histogram. Frequency polygon, frequency curves. These are the same type of graphs but polygons means we join the points with by using scale. Frequency curves means by and we can join the points. That is the difference between frequency polygon and frequency curve. So here, ages 24 to 28. In this, between this in the age, the number of teachers are 12 are there. Between the 28 and 32 age, there are 10 teachers. Between the 32 and 36 years age, there are 15 teachers like that given. So, we have to construct the frequency polygon and frequency curve. So, how can we do? Let us see. Take a graph paper. Solution. First of all, arrange this table, frequency distribution table in columns, ages, number of teachers. ages 24 to 28 you arrange this in order next frequencies number of teachers this is frequency that is 12 to construct the frequency polygon or frequency curve we need same table here third column is class marks to construct frequency polygon or frequency curve we need the class marks class marks means mid value of the class interval so class mark this is the third column class mark 24 to 28 that is class mark is 24 25 26 27 so 26 is the mid value of 24 to 28 Mid value of 28 to 32 that is 30. Mid value of 30 to 36 that is 34. Mid value of 36 to 40 that is 38. Mid value of 40 to 44 that is 42. Mid value of 44 to 48 class that is 46. So these are the class marks. Mid values are called as class marks. So, now class mark as X, frequency as F. So, class mark take on the X axis, frequency, number of teachers are, is the frequency here, frequency on the Y axis. So, point consider as X, F, that is class mark to frequency. So, that is 26, 12, take carefully. On x axis, you take, we need to take class mark on the x axis, frequency on the y axis. Second one is class mark to frequency 30, 10, next 34, 15, next 38, 9, 42, 8, and 46, 6. Here, given condition is, we have to construct the frequency polygon and frequency curves without using histogram. By using histogram, we need class intervals also, but to construct the only frequency polygon and frequency curve, no need to take the class intervals in the graph. Just you need to take the, we can take class marks are enough class marks and frequency so class marks are like this 26 30 34 38 so 
take 4 4 units on x axis 1 cm as 4 units frequencies are 12 10 15 9 8 6 like that here I separate this graph into two parts like like two graphs oh, that's why I am taking 1 cm as 2 units on y axis so take 1 cm as 2 units on y axis and separate this graph into two parts that means first separate it into two parts we consider as this is one graph sheet and this is another graph sheet so no problem we can take like this right hand side process is the same for frequency polygon and frequency curve no need to change any changes so this is the same table for frequency polygon and frequency curves so separate it and take x axis draw x axis and y axis here both x axis and y axis you take corners generally we should draw the graph by using pencil only that is not a rule but if we have any mistake we cannot change it we cannot erase it that's why we should draw by pencil only so take pencil take x axis y axis like this this consider as 0 26 30 34 38 42 46 there is the difference between 4 so 4 4 units you take on x axis so first one is 26 this take as x x dash take as y y dash and take on y axis every centimeter is 2 units so this is 2 4 6 like that on x axis we are taking class marks that is ages on y axis we are taking number of teachers that is frequency now you take these points class mark on x axis frequency and y axis 20 here the difference between 1 cm as 4 units but here the difference between 0 and 26 26 is there so you use kink here already in previous graph side explained and remaining 1 cm as, as 4 units but here the lot of difference is there so to avoid this friends you use kink here we should use kink so next one first take the point first point 26 comma 12 on x axis 26 and y axis 12 you keep one point like this next 30 comma 10 next point is 30 comma 10 so 30 and 10 this is the 30 comma this point represents 30 comma 10 next one is 34 15 34 to 15 15 means it lies between 14 and 16 so 34 15 this represents middle line is 15 so 34 to 15 next 38 comma 9 38 to 9 lies between 8 and 10 9 is lies between so 38 this point represents 38 comma 9 and 42 comma 8 42 comma 8 this represents 42 comma 8 next 46 comma 6 this represents 46 comma 6 now you keep the points mention the points the first one is 26 comma 12 
सेकेंड वन इज थर्टी का मटेन थर्ड वन इज थर्टी फोर का फिफ्टीन फोर्थ वन इज थर्टी एट का नाइन फिफ्थ वन इज फॉर्टी टू का एट दिस पॉइंट रिप्रेजेंट फॉर्टी सिक्स का सिक्स सो यू मेन्शन दि पॉइंट लाइक दिस अब दि पॉइंट वै नव वी आर गोयिंग टू ड्रा दि सैड्स फ्रीक्वेन्सी पॉलीगन फ्रीक्वेन्सी मीन पॉलीगन मीन वी शुड यूज स्केल ओनली डोंट जॉन लाइक दिस वी शुड यूज स्केल इन आर्डर वैज अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस पॉइंट वैज ओनली यू हव टू जॉन बै यूजिंग दि स्केल फस्ट वन इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स काम ट्वेल सेकेंड वन इज थर्टी काम टेन सो दिस टू पॉइंट जॉन बै स्केल ओनली If we join by scale, then these curves, graphs, are called as frequency polygons. So next, third one is thirty-four to fifteen. So join thirty-four to fifteen. Next one is thirty-eight comma nine. So from this point, you join to thirty-eight comma nine by using scale. Next, forty-two comma eight. Join like this. Next, forty-six comma six. So this is called frequency polygon. By using scale, if you join these points, class mark and frequency, this type of graphs are called frequency polygon graphs. So the graph is completed. This is frequency polygon. Next scale on x-axis one centimeter is four units. On y-axis one centimeter is two units. So the graph is completed. This is the frequency polygon graph. Next you take the separate sheet and take up to until this taking points you do this same like above the graph after that you join this points by hand only then that is called frequency polygon so next i cannot i am not going to explain this graph after that as it is i am doing here so do like that only for drawing the frequency curve up to the mention these points on the graph do same like this after that you join by these points by hand only don't use scale then it will be called frequency curve so now i am doing like this take the graph x axis and y axis and points like above graph and mention the points like that only take x axis y axis and mention the points like this and plot the points also same like above the graph that is first one is 26 12 keep the points as it is and keep the points like above the graph now you join this points by hand only without using scale then it will be called as frequency curve not a polygon so curves by hand and polygons mean by using scale we have to join these points so first one is 26 to 12 second one is 30 to 10 you join by hand next 34 to 15 you join next 38 comma 9 and 42 comma 
and 46 comma 6 so you join by hand by using hand then it is called frequency curve so this is frequency curve above graph is frequency polygon frequency curve is only one thing that is by using scale we have to join these points frequency for polygon and by joining these points by using hand only without using scale that are called frequency curves so this is the difference between these two graphs next you take the scale as it is like a bow graph so this is the frequency polygon and this is the frequency curve of same problem so we have to draw like this so the graph is finished if you like this video please like it and share it to your friends or classmates and subscribe for more videos thank you thank you for watching